Oh uh, yeah, the signs, they're basically the magic of the game. Uh, they use with the right mouse click. I've only ever got the first one, because I've only ever played the first bit, which is like a... It's like Force Push from, like, Star Wars. Success? We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, telekinetic force. For dealing with obstacles and opponents. It's quite good uh, later in the first, next part. After the tutorial, the first area, there's some enemies you can knock down and sort of insta-kill because they get stunned and you can finish them off. And a uh, thing I noticed in here is this chest. Which you get a whetstone, it's actually quite good. I'm going to save it until I get an upgrade for the weapon though. Because it, it lasts... how many hours is it? Because the whetstone, I thought I upgraded it forever the first time, but it only... What it doesn't say there is it's actually a duration of time, it's not... Uh, damage inflicted up by temp up by ten percent forever, and I know there's no point in putting it on this rusty, crappy thing anyway, because uh, all the stuff we're fighting in here is just pans anyway. Just a bunch of rent bandit mans that we can handle. Yeah, you just. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child, it didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere Seriously, on the continent, that's some taking revealing your clothing. equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake, really but you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. <laughs> Doesn't matter. If that idiot doesn't <laughs> shut it off. Enough! Lambert, stop much. baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. Oh, yeah, we need to protect yeah. the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about before. The um, You get a little decision here. You can either go with the rest of the witches to kill the Frightener, or you can go to the lab to try and save the uh, the mutagens, which is basically the alchemy stuff they have um, with Triss. Uh, my first playthrough of this, I went with the Frightener. I, ha I haven't gone with Triss before, but what I'll probably do is actually do both of them. I'll do one of them now, quickly, and I'll, uh, I'll quickly run through the first part of the tutorial and do the second one. Um, I believe I actually read somewhere that the decision you make here actually affects something later on in the game, so I'll have a look into that, and I'll... Uh, see what I don't want to do about that but I'll do both of them and I'll uh, I'll post the the uh, lab bit going with Triss either I'll just extend it onto the end of this episode or I'll put it in a separate episode by itself so we'll I think we'll call I'll the fight with, with Vesemir I'm going then you can't fight for us all I'm going with you that's nice Eskel but I'm teleporting to your lab Savola is mentally connected to the other mage I'll use him as a beacon, and I could lose you along the way. Be careful. What, so she girl. can't go with him? I'll manage. But I Geralt, this with Tawny That's Owl potion sense. restores endurance. If there's a fight, hit the bell and cauldrons with the Ard. We need noise. I want them to hear us in Vizima. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. It's very important you take the tawny out as well, because that um, replenishes your stamina, which is used for the Ard sign, which you need to hit the uh, 
and hopefully I'll be able to get it in one cycle. I have done it in one cycle before. It's better to kill off the uh, bandits first though, so they don't get in your way. They get kind of annoying when they get up on you. While the Frightener, the Frightener does so much damage. Does he even burn or something? What the fuck, are, what the fuck is that? Wait, what are you we doing? Don't die. Yeah, run away from the front. And just get these. Once you get these guys out of the way, the fight's a little easier. Just don't really do it. No. Get out of the way. Get out of the thing is, I don't want to be near the rest of the butchers because the front attacks go off quite a lot. Being near the thing is a quick way to get yourself killed. This one's a bit different, you actually have to ring it. If the there we go. Well frame rate went then. Now it should be stunned. Yep. Switch to scroll. Just hack away. It's not a bad boss fight once you know what to do. I mean I got a bit confused because of the bell you have to actually put away your weapon to bring it. Which confused me fast and I to go. So I just ended up I just ran straight towards the final got myself killed. A bit of a noob. And now it's uh, <laughs> oh, okay, not one cycle. I'll get it in two though. She's, she's not dead, but... Did you hear Triss? They're destroying the lab. We can't let them steal our secrets. Sorry to say Triss was right. We must stop them. Geralt, you and Leo run to the lab. I'll tend to Triss. Be careful. We don't know who we're dealing with. We'll do what we can, Vesemir. Quick! Yeah, what I think I'll do, actually, is just... Um, I'll do another video of me doing the... Uh, choosing to go with Triss and I'll post that separately. I'll put the link in the video description so it's easy to find but I find it's good if you have both both ways and I'll, set, I'll decide which game I'll play with so I think it does make a difference later on. I'm not sure what it is though. I'll have to look I it. found it. We have what we came for. It pretty much ends up the same but for the cutscenes this part of the game anyway. Depending doesn't matter which way you do it. Professor, deal with those witches. I hear witches oh, yeah. in parry bolts in flight. Using a ranged weapon, you're not a man. Why use a crossbow at that range anyway? Oh, 
sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> that is so Leo, obvious. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Leo doesn't make it. What a shame. To be honest, I don't really care. You knew it for like five minutes. And he did, it wasn't much help anyway. What happened? Smashed ribs, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. Which we don't have because I've just here. Just stop. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. Yeah, I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> Sorry, Leo. How did this happen? He attacked the professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witchers, and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. Oh yeah, this is just about um, meditation in certain areas, and if you speak to people, they've got like a little speech bubble thing down here. Um, you can uh, rest up. It just meditates. I don't think it actually goes to sleep. It just sits there, which is a bit weird. I usually just go to midday there for two hours and just click. I don't know whether he takes drugs while he's doing that or not. It does seem a bit weird, but whatever. New talents acquired. That is. What is the character? I don't know what the quick button is. Yeah, basically, this is like the character screen. Um, we don't have any points at the moment, we don't get them till later. But you can just uh, put the points into different things you want, get different abilities and stuff. I haven't really got very far in the game before, so I, I don't really know <coughs> how I'm going to spend my points. I mean, if you want to put in the comments below what you want me to put it in to make it more interesting, that's fine, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, if there's quite a lot of people saying they want one, one way of playing, like going with the signs or strength, dexterity, intelligence, whatever you suggest, um, I'll go for it because it doesn't really bother me. Anyway, that's probably enough for now. As I said, I will post the uh, the path with Triss on um, in another video. I'm not sure how long it is, but uh, I'll list the link in the video description below. And um, that's it for now. In the next episode, we'll actually get up into the castle, the upper levels. There's a few bandits left to kill off and some stuff to find and get a bit further in the game. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye.